वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द वीडियो नंबर टू ऑफ वीक नंबर टू हियर वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द फीचर्स ऑफ द बिजनेस प्रीवियस इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी स्टडीड द चैलेंजेस एंड डेफिनेशन ऑफ बिजनेस सो व्हाट इज द फीचर ऑफ द बिजनेस द फीचर ऑफ द बिजनेस इज दैट बिजनेस मीन्स इट इज एन एक्टिविटी दैट डील्स इन गुड्स और सर्विस The first and basic feature of the business is that deals in goods and services. The goods may be consumer goods or industrial goods. So there are two types of goods: consumer goods and industrial goods. Consumer goods are the goods which are used by the consumer or household needs by the consumers. These are the products which are used by household people or it is purchased by the consumers to satisfy the household needs of the consumers for example regular eatables which are used by the immediate consumption of the consumers in general industrial products are the products which are used by the businesses businesses basically purchase these products to number 1 resell or number 2 to use as raw material or use as raw material for example machinery which is used to process tools equipments which is which are used by the companies or the businesses to produce any product so the machinery tools and equipments these are the products which are not used by the consumers uh, in ordinary way so that is that's why these are called business products and the consumer products are those products which are used to satisfy daily and regular needs of the consumers number 2 business activity involves production manufacturing and exchange of goods or services here production is the good of goods of any type of their exchange for value of prices business all activities which are carried under love for example as we have told that companies make products and services and they deliver products and services to the to the customers and in exchange of their product and service they gain and they earn profit if there is any activity which is done not for profit or which is not done by profit which is done as or which is done under love and affection religion charity or gratitude it means those activities which are not done to gain profit from the customers these are not called business activities so the feature of the business is that businesses produce goods and services and or for exchange of goods and services against the money or against the profit against the cash the activity which is not done to gain profit is not a business activity a business involves production and exchange of goods services only for some value of price if you give something in free this is not business if you give if you gift something to anybody else after producing any product if you gift somebody this is not product if you give products to the people in charity this is not a business next feature of business so beta next uh, feature is the regularity and continuity this is a business is a continuous
business is a continuous activity continuous means regular regular means something that occurs again and again if any activity which is done only once or twice which is not done again and again this cannot be called business let me give you an example if anybody if mr aslam he sells his house and purchases a new house for personal living then this is not a business because mr aslam has done this only once he has changed he has sold his old house and now he has purchased a new house for his personal living for his personal use then this activity of purchase and sale is not a business yes but if mr aslam purchases houses and sells houses again and again again and again and he becomes property advisor or a contractor then it will become a business so it means if an activity is done only once it cannot be business business activity needs regularity regularity means consecutive or continuous activity is called business an activity which apparently looks like business activity but is not carried out regularly cannot be termed as business activity for example as i have given you example that if a person sells his residential house for money and purchases new house such as such activity is not a business on the other hand if a person earns his living by purchasing and selling of buildings and houses on regular and continuous basis it will become a business so i think beta this is clear now we will move to the other point which is profit motive as we have told you that the activity of business is done in order to gain profit if any activity which is done or which is not done to gain profit this cannot be called profit behind every business there is a profit motive in absence of profit motive an activity cannot be called a business people engage themselves in business primarily with a view of earn or some profit and acquire wealth if quality of goods or services are provided the society is ready to pay a little bit more and thereby the business can earn more profit so this relationship is converted into the business of the uh, profit of the businessman generally better quality goods and services are accompanied by higher profit it means if we, we provide good quality then we will get more profit if we, we if we do not give or if we do not offer and provide the product with good quality then we will not get the, uh, the then we will not get that much margin of the profit so if we want to increase the margin of profit we have to increase the quality of the product so it means the basic motive of the business is to gain profit so in order to gain more profit companies are directed and companies are advised to provide the products with good quality next existence of risk and uncertainties existence of risk and uncertainties as we have already studied in previous video in previous uh, 
slides that there is uncertainty in the market and due to uncertainty of the market it becomes very risky and in order uh, and when we talk about uncertainty we can see uncertainty in the form of changing customer taste changing customer's nature so the needs change in fashion group competition due to globalization faulty managerial decisions or faulty planning and causing and creating heavy risk and uncertainty in the business it means these are the factors which create the environment or the business activity uncertain uncertainty when there is uncertainty then the companies will not have idea whether they will get profit or not because if we make a product and the taste of customer changes then customers will not purchase our product if we pro 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 if we uh, 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 manufacture any product and the customers has made or oh, sorry a competitor our competitor or rival has made a superior and good quality with low price then customers will attract towards his product and the customers will not purchase our product so this is the feature of a business that it is full of risk as we have already discussed in previous slide so when there is when we talk about risk so there is risk of uncertainty uncertainty means something which is not certain and certain ka matlab kya hota hai ghair yaqeen ghair yaqeeni when there is uncertainty when we are not certain about things then there is again a problem of risk when there but there is another word called return return means it is basically called return on investment a return on investment means when any business wants to invest in any uh, any business wants to invest in any product or any activity they expect a return return means they expect profit but due to uncertainty and due to risk there is uncertainty of the return or profit of the customer there are number of account of uncontrollable elements that may put a business in loses in losses these losses may be caused by natural calamities also no guarantee of specific return so there is no guarantee for any any uh, return or any profit in business because if we are providing any product and if we if uh, uh, if there is any natural calamity for example if there is flood and the products are damaged or if there is earthquake or any other any other natural natural calamity so these are the reasons where we can say that this is the feature of a business which where there isn't any surety or there isn't any certainty of profit or return in the business next types of business students there are many types of business for example merchandising business services business manufacturing and hybrid so let's discuss them one by one first of all we will discuss manufacturing business manufacturing business are the businesses where they use input they process and they create or make output input means raw material companies use raw material they process and this activity is also called manufacturing process and after making output means after making finished product they offer the product and they deliver the product to the customer to the customers so let's discuss the definition which is written here a manufacturing business buys products with the intention of using them as materials thus there is a transformation of the product purchase so first we will get raw material and after that if we product make another product then there will be a transformation of the product a manufacturer business combines raw materials labor and factory overhead 
in its production process then with they use raw material and process and machinery and labor and factory overhead and the process and after after process they produce a or the manufacture a good or any product so if we want to see the cycle of this business let me zoom this so students we will see here that companies pay cash to buy raw material after buying raw material companies process this raw material and make another product then they offer the product to customers and customers purchase the product and when customers purchase the product they give cash to the company and company gets profit and the revenues so examples of manufacturing companies are automobile companies bakeries shoe markets and tailors and boutiques the type number 2 is services in services this is a business where companies provide intangible as we have already studied in different subjects in previous semesters that there is difference between product and service service is intangible which can be felt and it does not it does not have any physique or it is can it cannot be touched or cannot be seen so when companies the the comp there are some companies where which can no which does not provide products but they give services services type firms offer professional skills expertise advice and other similar products examples of uh, services are the salons where we get a haircut we get our other different uh, different services like massage like uh, facial like shaving or other activities repair shop we go to any workshop and we get our uh, motorbike or we get our car repaired or tuned they give services schools they give educations banks they keep our money and they give us financial uh, services accounting firm they uh, they do auditing for us and they give us some other financial uh, services law firms or the lawyers who represent us in courts in different uh, cases and some other examples are airline bus transport banks computer service bureaus law firms plumbing and repairing companies uh, motion pictures theaters and management consulting firms so these are all the examples of services in this companies give services to the customers and customers give them cash as profits and revenue number 3 merchandising merchandising this type of business buys products as wholesale at wholesale price and sells the same at retailer at retail price they are known as buy and sell businesses these are the businesses where they only purchase at wholesale price keep profit margin and sell the product at higher price keeping the profit margin a merchandising business sells the product without changing its form in merchandising companies do not change the form of the company for example a tomato ketchup 
if I, if a company gets pro, uh, gets tomato ketchup at uh, 100 rupees then they will sell this tomato ketchup in 110 rupees this is this activity is called merchandising examples are grocery stores convenience store distributors and other resellers clothing store grocery stores and bookstores wagara wagara i hope this is clear next type number 4 is hybrid business hybrid businesses are the businesses where they do not offer only one they do not uh, perform only one activity of the business as we have studied they perform two or more activities in similar business let's take an example of a restaurant In restaurants, they cook a dish by processing different ingredients. This is called merchandising. Sorry, this is called manufacturing. Then, when they offer this dish or any chicken kadai to the customers they all they also offer them or they also give them soda or coca cola this activity is called merchandising and since they are giving them service and they are offering them on table and they are giving them neat and clean environment and this is called service so so in this activity or a hybrid where there are different activities which is which are done which are done together for example merchandising manufacturing and services so there are some uh, businesses which do not have only one activity like uh, but they have more than one two or sometimes three activities so examples are Amazon and Microsoft they offer they are basically hybrid businesses so students these were four activities of the business and uh, we will continue this week in next video